come over here. Uh, I have to come to you. Okay, Emily, how are you today? Nervous. Nervous. Is this your first reading? I promise I'll be gentle. <laughs> very gentle. Spirit, I'm very gentle. Okay. Now, I have a lady stepping forward for you. It's a female energy. She seems to be connecting in through the female side of the family, so I will place that around the mother's side of the family. Is your mother in spirit? No. All right, well, I need to say to you that there is a lady who steps forward, connected into mother, who is very motherly towards you. Do you understand who this lady is? Because she comes forward with such an emotional charge for you from the heart here, and it's like, she's my girl. That was the words I heard, and that was an unmother. That energy comes in with this, okay? And I get the impression with this one, it's like she's holding her baby. She's holding her baby. Now, she's saying to me, you're her baby, okay? Does that make sense to you? Not really. <laughs> okay. I want to come to a lady who would be connected into mother and who would be on mother's side of the family. She was not a small lady by any means, okay? Um, and she certainly had a big capacity. She was around you when you were a child. She would have come in around you when you were a child, but perhaps passed away. And I get the impression when I come to that, there was like a cancer or something that this lady passed away from. Does that make sense to you? Thank you. Because she's coming in and she's saying that she used to hold you when you were a baby and that's, what, that's how she feels towards you, okay? She wants you to know that she has literally been looking over your shoulder for the whole of your life since she moved into spirit so that you will get a sense that you are not alone. Now, this is what she wants to bring to you today, the understanding that you are not alone. Can you feel quite isolated and alone at times? Because she's saying that when you're feeling like that, she now has that presence that she has given you today to let you know that you will never walk alone in this earth as long as she is by your side. Do you understand that? She holds you with such tenderness and she also says to me that there is some plans that you have been making and these plans are about to unfold. Now, don't panic if it doesn't work out exactly the way you think it's going to because she's saying you have quite a fixed little direction in mind. She's going to take you on a little bit of a detour, okay? But she's going to get you to where you want to be, okay? Now just know that when things start to unravel just a bit from the plans that you've made, that there is a heavenly presence that are just guiding you to get you to where you need to be. So put your thoughts up, ask for this lady to step forward, and then listen to her. She'll get you there. Complete whole and safe. You understand? Hold it because she's very excited because that fear or that feeling of being alone, okay, you're not going to feel that for too much longer. It's going to start to sort of move away from you and there's going to be a lot more coming in on the physical to keep you moving. Can I leave this gorgeous lady with you as she holds her baby in her arms? and loves you and mothers you, yes, with a lot of blessings. She may have been quite orthodox in her own because she's just put the sign of the cross over your head and she's saying, I don't care if I'm here, I'm giving her that and that's the way I want to leave her. Can I leave that with you? Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where am I going now? I just get the feeling I'm being pulled back up to the back here and I, I like that there, that gentleman. Yes, you, you stand out. Can I come to you, please? Don. Don. How are you, Don? Good. That's good. Okay. Well, why are we with you today? Let us see. Okay, step forward. Okay. I have a lady stepping forward with quite white grey hair for you. She actually has, it's, it's quite white in its colouring. She comes in on a motherly vibration, so motherly energy coming in around you. Um, <coughs> your mum's spirit, because I just get them. Does your mum have quite white, 
way here, yes? Because she's coming in for you in this moment. She wants to be remembered to you. She's talking to me. Is there a birthday around you? Like, is there a birthday? Thank you. Okay. Because it's like, I want to celebrate my birthday. Did you celebrate her birthday? Or did you at least wish her happy birthday? Okay. Well, she's coming in to say, not, not. You should do that. No, she's not. Okay. No, no, she's not. She's just saying that she's remembering that it's her birthday. She's coming in today to be remembered to you. And she's bringing in a lot of love. And, you know, it's like she's bringing in, like, a rose like a rose bush or something. Is that significant to you? Can you understand why she would bring you in like a little rose? Not a big, big rose bush, but there's this little red rose and it's this little red rose bush and she's bringing it in and she's placing it before you. She wants you to have that. I don't know if that's significant to you, but that's what she's bringing in for you. Okay, she's coming in today and she's saying to me that, that she, is there a holiday coming up around you? Are you have you got plans to go away? Thank you. Because she's saying she's watching over you, and she's actually, you know, she, she just led my in, and she said, he can't do anything. I can see him, and I want him to know I'm watching him. So just tell him that we <laughs> She draws a line in some areas. You can do that, right? But she's saying, I'm watching over him. Just as I did on earth, I'm watching over him. Okay? And he can't hide anything. Okay? Because I'm here and I'm watching. She just wants to bring this in to give you proof that she's with you and she's around you. I also need to ask you, an older gentleman sort of feels like he's standing forward um, and he's very proper in how he stands. Like, he's, he's just got a real sense of how he makes me feel like I want to pull myself up and stand properly. He's quite old-fashioned in his dress, and he just looks like he's from another time. He's stepping back in time. Turn of the century, that type of real gentleman type of energy. He may have even had some kind of mo and his hair pulled back, a jacket on. Feels like he's going back. I don't know if you know this gentleman, but he comes in, you know, he's got the fob wash, that type of thing where he would slip it in his pocket. He was quite a, he was a gentleman in his appearance and in his mannerism. He's actually coming in and saying that you're very similar to him, okay? And that he's saying that he's, um, he recognizes, it, you're quite a gentleman. You've got that, that energy that takes you back to that time when you treated people properly, you opened doors, you pay attention to the details like that, right? That's why this gentleman's with you. I get the impression he is connected into your family, but he's going back, so you might not know of him. You may be able to find him, okay? Uh, because he has the shirt, he has that kind of waistcoat, he has the jacket, he has the proper pants. He's very, very nicely dressed. He's a gentleman. He's saying there are very few gentlemen genuinely left in this earth, in this generation, and he's saying that your attributes need to be sent out far greater than what's being done at this time. And he's taking the time to recognize those attributes that you bring to those people who are around you. Can you accept that from him, please? Yes? Uh, I'm trying to ask him for a name or something. You know, I don't know if this is a last name, and I... Do you understand Bentley or Ben? Bentley? Does that make any sense to you, like in a surname or something? Okay. I got a Ben or a Bentley, okay? And I want to give you that. Maybe you could go and have a little look through and find and see if you could find this gentleman, okay? Around about the turn of the century, last century, okay? okay so the 1900s, okay? Because what he shows me is like one of those uh, extendable cameras and they stuck their head in them. <laughs> and you lost the person, and then you were upside down. Do you get? Yeah. Oh, something like that. I'm not familiar with any of that, okay? Okay. young. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he's saying that it's almost like there's this of him standing. You know, they were very prim, he's saying. We were all very prim as we stood there. And that's what he's saying you might find with him, because he's showing me that type of picture. So can I leave your mother with you and also 